We're going to be joined by Chef Petrina to show you how to make delicious <coughs> spring rolls at home. I'm so looking forward yes. to recreating this and tasting it later on. Spring rolls are a popular appetizer that are crispy on the outside and filled with a variety of ingredients on the inside, yeah. sweet or savory. It works with spring rolls. So we'll see you after this break. Welcome back now it, to Salam Britain and it's that special time when it's lunch time yes. and Chef Petrina is going to be showing us how to make some spring rolls. Yes, yeah, so we're so excited for this. Like, can am, you, can you see am. the excitement in us? Like, yes. I, I've never actually made spring rolls at all. Normally I both buy them in the packet yeah. or I have them in a Me restaurant. Yeah. And actually what I love about Petrina's spring rolls, and we're going to welcome her in just a second, is that they are a slightly healthier alternative. Yeah. Petrina, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing well, thank you. And today, like you said, we've got a treat because I'm going to make homemade spring rolls and it's going to be the best ones you've tasted, much better than the commercially made yes. ones. Yes! And look at you looking fabulous in pink. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So you can see I've, I've done this spread here. Basically, I've got the spring roll wrappers like mm -hmm. this, this one. So it's very, very fine, thin. Mm -hmm. You just have to keep it moist. So I've actually covered it with this cloth here. And I've got coconut oil, my favorite coconut oil here, over here. And I'm going to put some prawns as well or shrimps. Okay, mm. these are already cooked, pre-cooked. I've got my one, one egg, one egg here, uh, which I'm going to just uh, just uh, scramble it with, with a brush and j just um, use it. it. It's more like a, a glue to actually glue the sort of like seal the spring roll uh, yes. wrappers once mm -hmm. you've put the ingredients. And these are my ingredients here. So what I have here is sweet potato. Like wow. I said, these ingredients you actually won't find in normal spring rolls because this is say, my own invention. Sweet potato. That's a that's an original. Yeah, I've never had a spring ingredient. roll with uh, sweet potato in it. Yeah, it, it does add a bit of sweetness and obviously a bit of uh, carbohydrates as well. So I've just cut it really fine, sort of like julienne style. These are shallots, which are also cut up very yeah. finely as well. These ones are carrots, carrots again, and a bit of mush, um, mushrooms here, mushrooms. And I've got tofu as well, also cut up quite fine. Mm. And here I've got spring onions, also cut up julienne style. And what I thought I'll add today, instead of cabbage, which is normally what you find in the spring rolls, is actually, these are actually uh, pak choy. That's what the pak choy looks like, like that. Love and I've just choy. basically used this, this part of the vegetable itself and mm. just cut it all finely as well. So I'm going to add it in. This is what the tofu looks like before it's cut as well. Yeah. Okay. And um, yeah, that, that's basically it. So we'll season it with a bit of salt and herbs as well. And we're ready, fine to go. We've got coriander here. Just want to cut this, the, these stalks as well. And what I've also added is a bit of garlic, garlic mixture here as well. Just give it a bit more flavor. So we are ready to go. And I've just, um, you don't have to do this. I've actually just uh, flat this, this space a bit so that the wrappers don't actually cling together when you're making it, but it's not compulsory. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just cut these um, coriander because we're going to add that in as well into the mixture itself and what we will do is everything else is already chopped up so this is how we're going to make it just take one wrapper here put it here like that and grab a bit of everything basically everything uh, these are the the uh, sweet potatoes bit of carrots a bit of mushrooms shiitake mushrooms shiitake mushrooms are very healthy for uh, anti-cancer as well. It's got a lot of B vitamins, uh, B complex vitamins. A bit of tofu as well. Sprinkle with a bit of sea salt. I don't know why, but for some reason I thought that you cook the ingredients first, put them in and then wrap them up. I don't know. Is that... Yes, that's right. Uh, most, most people, they tend to cook ingredients first, but because these are vegetables and these uh, shrimps, they're already sort of like cooked anyway. So mm -hmm. this actually cuts down the time. Right. Yeah. Also, I think it would get more soggy inside, wouldn't it? It wouldn't have that crunch if, or that uh, taste if mm -hmm. you was already having it pre-cooked. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So what happens? What what happens is that um, when yeah yeah so what happens is when when you pre-cook the ingredients, mm -hmm. uh, you 
it, it tends to get soggy as well. So yeah. like you say, it, it's you just need to put, put it uh, in as it is and you'll actually see the difference. So what I'm going to do is just coat this, the sides. So you, that pastry, um, what kind of pastry is that? Is that uh, because it's like there's, you know, there's like that rice paper as well that people use sometimes for uh, spring rolls. Yeah, the, the rice paper is more, uh, it's a finer paper, which you actually normally soak in water. That is normally used more for like the Vietnamese type of uh, spring rolls, yeah. which aren't normally cooked. Uh, they, they're actually just eaten like raw. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, I know their ones, like the sushi type ones. Exactly. It's like very translucent. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. So these ones are actually going to be uh, deep fried or shallow fried, really, in, yes. in my sense. Yes, love a deep fried. So as you, as you can <laughs> see, the you just need a bit of the egg to actually bind it and just keep it yeah. keep it there. So that's one done. We'll do a next one. And you get them already cut in size. I mean, I'm only asking all of these questions because obviously if you're making it from scratch and, and you know, you need to know these sort of things because obviously yeah. I just go and buy mine. And, yeah, the, um, these are already uh, cut to size anyway, the, these uh, things, uh, the, these pastry. Yeah. Uh, you can get different sizes. There are ones larger than these as well. So, like I said, just put a generous helping of everything. I love of this course. though because you can really decide exactly what goes in and what yeah. doesn't. So even if people don't like certain things or you want to keep it healthy but you still want to enjoy your favourite cuisine, yeah. you can still do it but just in a sort of a healthier yeah, yeah. way, which I love. Yeah. Yes, that's right. I mean, uh, you know, in, in the recipe I, I've suggested you can put, like, like this one I'm actually making with tofu. You can make it with chicken if you want to or, you know, shrimps. Yeah. So like vegetarian options, vegan, exactly. vegan options. So what's that on your on your on your silicon mat? There looks like a paste of something. Which one? Sorry. On your on your blue mat, uh, there's something there next to the spoon. Yeah, what this is? is this is a bit of uh, garlic paste, which I just wanted to just uh, spread a bit on the oh, on spring rolls, just to give it more flavour. That's it. I don't know, the way that you do things is very original. I haven't seen a chef like kind of the way that you prepare. Is that is that something you grew up learning in, in the way that you kind of prepare your... Yeah, yeah, like I said, I, I've done a lot of these, um, these, these recipes on my own, basically. Right. What, what I've done is I, I've seen how people cook, how people prepare, and then I, I just like to improvise and, ah. you know, improve things. So you can see these are very quickly made as well. Gonna do a few more and then we can start frying it. Yeah, okay, well, because it's loads of, um, lots of mix Lots. of color and it's a, it, you know, it might be a good idea for us to read some of the ingredients. Um, and I think we have, uh, let's try and get to the top of this, but we have one medium uh, size free range egg, 12 spring roll pastry sheets. Uh, I need to get those sheets. 50 yeah, grams of cabbage, one medium size carrot, one red onion, six mushrooms. I don't think it makes a difference. Which mushrooms is there? I don't but know. Six mushrooms, no, I don't think so. One medium size sweet potato, something I've never tried, but six mm. spring onions, protein of your choice, such as prawns, chicken or fish, mm -hmm. uh, heaps tablespoon of coconut oil, uh, sea salt per taste, and uh, I guess a, dip, uh, a dipping sauce, because obviously you yeah, need at the end, yeah, yeah. Um, a dipping sauce of your choice, such as tomato sauce or chili sauce. Or sweet chili sweet, sauce. Yeah, sweet, I was going to say <laughs> sweet chili sauce. Sweet, with, we do uh, love a bit of that. Yeah, with uh, I was going to say dumplings with spring onions is amazing. I'm sitting here like not having know, had any watering. breakfast. And, uh, <laughs> I'm mouth watering. watering, ready to You're go. Getting ready. We're getting ready to, uh, you know, um, dish up and uh, try some of that. Looking yeah. good, Petrina. So yeah. we're putting the paste again, some garlic paste in again. That's right, putting the um, the egg wash as well. So, yeah. So, um, I mean, I, uh, with, with the choice of uh, protein, not that I'm a fan of lamb or beef, but would you do beef or lamb in a spring roll or no? Was that something that... Um, it's quite unusual because it'll probably turn out more like a pakora or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but like I mean, so. you know, I, I'm a fan of just adding whatever, whatever really, um, whatever you fancy, basically. Because yeah. spring roll is sort of like a, I would say, sort of, sort of um, similar to pakora in that sense. Because it's made from that pastry as well. Yeah. So yeah. you can just really experiment. 
So I noticed that there's there's not much in the way of seasoning going in. You've just added a little bit of garlic paste. Haven't seen any other sort of seasonings. Is that normally how they they work, or is uh, it just... you can you can add? I, I've been adding a bit of sea salt right. as well. So it's totally up to you. What what I normally do is I, I let let it um, not be so salty, and then you can just you know add a bit of because you, you're gonna eat it with. If you're like me, I normally eat it without any. Um, and any sauce, but most people like to eat it with sauce, so oh, the I sauce has already sauce. got flavour. Yeah. The sauce has got to be you need to dip corner. it in. Yeah, yeah. the, the sweet chilli sauce. sauce. Oh my gosh, it's yeah. like boom. I mean, so, but really, it is quite a healthy treat. If you aren't, because I mean, sweet chilli sauce, you know, it does have a lot of sugar in it. It is quite yeah. a high calories just for a tiny little bit. So I suppose really to to enjoy it you know, as a healthy alternative, you could just have it without the sauce. Yes, that, that's what I do anyway. I, I normally have the spring rolls without the sauce because it, it's quite flavoursome as it is already, depending mm -hmm. on the ingredients you put in. So, so, so basically just play around with whatever ingredients you fancy putting in. I, I have a different one every time, so it depends on what, what is in the kitchen as well. Yeah, and you've got that mat, like the silicon mat. But if you don't have the mat, what would we use? Just you, you don't. You don't have plate? to have a mat. You you can use like a larger chopping board. That's it. Yeah. So. Wow, it looks great. It looks lovely. You always make uh, something that's got lots of colours. Yeah. It's, uh, it looks very healthy. I was saying it? I recreated your uh, couscous dish that you made last week. Oh, well um, done. Yeah, so I recreated it, the, the couscous and the vegetables, and it was so easy. Yeah. Um, it, it did, it, you know, it really did come together and it was really filling and it felt really healthy. And then I was kind of reading up about the difference between couscous and rice and how much nutritional value uh, couscous has in, in, you know, in compared rice. to rice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, a lot more fibre, a lot more protein. Yeah. Are you going to try this one? Um, Tonight. <laughs> do you know what? I, I want to actually try it now because I want to see if, for me, I just feel like if I do it, the the sheets are going to rip. Yeah. So that's what I'd be worried about. Like, have I got that hand and not yeah. tear holes in it? Because I've tried with samosas before yeah. and it just ended up breaking and it's yeah. just a mess, really. Okay. Um, but no, not tonight, I yeah. don't think. <laughs> not tonight. <laughs> what about you? Are you going to no, give it a I do. I do definitely want to attempt it. Maybe not tonight, but uh, I, also <laughs> I'm not really sure where to pick up all the all the stuff from, like the, the sheets anyway. Yeah. So I'm going to look into all of this uh, because I've always just bought them. I've obviously made homemade samosas and things like that, but I've never done spring rolls, so... It'll be great to Can't try Can't be this. much different though, can it really? Because it's the same sort of fineness, yeah. isn't it? But also, uh, we've just got lazy now, you know. Not yeah. lazy, just don't have time for it. Yeah. There's so many other things to do that, mm -hmm, you don't know, have, mm -hmm. you know, you sit there. We, we used to do a whole family thing. It was like a whole family session to sit together and make samosas. Wow. And uh, one's sitting there rolling, one's filling, one's pasting to close it up. And one's making tea for us um, and, you know, entertaining us. So it was, you know, we don't do that anymore. Mm. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it does. It does feel like time's a little less. Uh, yeah. You know, we didn't get as much out of time anymore in yeah. in, in the last couple yeah, of years. Yeah, just or so. a, kind of like the, the the blessing of time is flying. So Allah. really, just gonna. I am gonna definitely try something like this. I also cause I, I also want you to try um, uh, dumplings. Actually, is that Ooh, something you yummy. would do, um, Petrina, on the show as well? Because I'd love to see some of that. Ooh, yes, yeah, yeah. Dumplings actually not one of my specialty, but I could certainly try because all, all these uh, when it comes to like pastry, it, it's a bit of a, like a you know some something that you need a bit more practice on as well. Yes, oh, I'd love to see that. Um, but we have got about four minutes to go. That's okay. We'll run. Ready, run. So I'm just putting the final. Is that cute little spoon again? One. <laughs> Are we going to start frying them in the... Yes, we'll be starting to fry it in a minute, yep. I'm ready to, I'm ready to get going. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. eating a bit. So how long do they take to fry then? Less than... Um, just a few minutes, basically. Yep. So that's the last one done. We'll heat up the pot. So I, I usually love eating the, you know, the kind of fry food, like snacks, like mm -hmm. samosas or spring rolls or pakoras. Um, not so much pakoras, actually. But Can you put them in the air fryer? 
You can, can't you? Yeah, you can, but right. I, it's not the same. Is it not? I don't know. I don't, I don't yeah, have yeah, an air fryer, and, uh, so. Yeah, yeah, it's not the same. Unless you're heating it up to just warm it up. But mm. I'm saying that you, I, like to, I love having it on a day that's raining. Ah, it's like when it rains, you feel food. like having yeah. that kind of food with tea. Um, oh, my gosh. This is just amazing. A bit of comfort there. Okay, so I'm just heated up the pan and just put the um, coconut oil in. So just coconut in the pan. Coconut yeah. oil, sorry. Coconut oil, yeah. yeah so quite a lot in there, isn't it? Quite there? a lot, yeah. It's about three is... tablespoons. That's like a ones. snowball. <laughs> isn't it? It's like it a, is, it is. It's like is, the size of a snowball. Yep. Just going to stir it in quickly. So roughly how long do they I've take never... normally then yeah. to, to heat up? How long does it take? Uh, just a few minutes. A few minutes to. I, I've ne I've never actually fried in coconut oil. Have you actually? Yeah. Not really. Yeah, I don't I've never think fried so. In there, so. Not, no, don't I don't think really I have. Know what that tastes like. I do tend to to just use olive oil though. I don't tend to to kind of use um, any of the canola style oils. Yeah. And we were speaking about that, wasn't we, off camera, that, you yeah. know, they can be really quite bad for you if you're, you're having them sort of every day, yeah. frying your foods every day. Yeah. But, you know, sometimes with it, when it comes to kind of the, the olive oil, it's so ex much more expensive, isn't it? Than, yeah. Especially if you've got a big family. Yeah. It's so cheap to kind of use the, the cheaper oils, but, you know, the long-term health effects are, are yeah, really, yeah. really bad. I mean, I'm quite lucky I get mine from overseas. Ah, why not? <laughs> so I'm quite lucky to get my olive oil, but it does have a very, very strong ah, taste. it's like the more natural um, taste. You don't really like having that with your chips. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Because so. I think the one here, you can't really taste the olive. Yeah, it's so it, strong. But... Oh, okay, there we so go. Going in there, now. <laughs> there goes the first one. Yeah, just put the first one in. Looking and good. basically you just need to stir, uh, you know, just keep turning it so it doesn't burn. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So you've got it on a high heat there, Petrina. Yes, I've got high, as high as heat as can be on this. So what, what if we did like shallow, shallow frying, would you want to do what you're doing with the pastry or the pastry has to be... Uh, uh, you, you can do shallow frying because you can see I'm actually not frying it, uh, sort of like deep frying. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't like to use too much oil as well. Yes. So yeah, yeah, it's not soaked in there, actually. Yeah, yeah, I can see now. Yeah. Okay, so it's so this one to... just takes a bit of patience. Which, right, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I, lo I love that you're using chopsticks and, yeah. and, and not just the, <laughs> you know, the usual stick or thing you use. <laughs> Mm, looks very delicious. Looking yeah. great. It's getting all really goldeny. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and ready for the crunch, Aisha. Yeah, yeah, I'm waiting for the crunch. That's what I'm. That's what I'm kind of uh, waiting to do. It looks yeah. So it depends amazing. on the size for your pot as well. You can put as many as you can inside. Yeah. Oh, now you can hear the sizzling. Yeah. Now you, you can, can hear, hear it sizzle it now, now. So. Mhm. Mm There we go, look at that. Look at that, sizzling away, ready to be enjoyed. I bet the crew are sitting backstage as well, looking yeah, and thinking, you know what? That hopefully Shaz and I should only eat all of them. Because <laughs> they have to queue up after us, you see. Yeah, yeah, we have to have the taste test We first. have to have the taste first, and if we want to kind of take two, then it's like, well, we don't, we share, we're good. Yeah. Mm, there we go. So how long is it then, did you say, Petrina, remind us? For the viewers at home that want to kind of get this recipe going? Um, apart, apart from preparing the ingredients, you know, th this one, the frying takes about maybe three, four minutes right, at the most. Right. And um, is there any way to tell when they're done? Yeah, it, it'll actually be a nice golden brown. Right, okay. So and like I said, the, most of the time it's because the ingredients are already cooked anyway, so it's not like you're going to, you know, have any like indigestion or food poisoning. But obviously if you're adding, uh, you know, meats like chicken or um, something that's not cooked, then obviously uh, do, do make sure you cook it a bit more. Mm. So I'm just turning down the heat slightly as well. So, you know, with regards to um, rolling the spring rolls, mm -hmm. how long did it take to master it? Because you made it look very easy, but actually it's quite difficult. 
it's basically practice, basically. Right. more you practice and uh, it, it's quite easy once you get it done. There, there are various ways of actually um, rolling the spring roll, so it depends on what, what you like. And obviously the size of it as well. Mm -hmm. So if you get the larger size uh, pastries, then you'll have to roll it a bit more. So I have to warn you, this is going to be really hot, uh, sort of like piping hot, so just be careful when you bite into it as well. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just wondering, people that don't like coconut oil, because obviously it's got quite a distinctive taste. You can taste. smell it. Can you smell yeah. the coconut? It's what would really you use? As an uh, you, you can use olive oil as well, or that, there's an oil called grapeseed oil. Grapeseed, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not, yeah. not rapeseed, grapeseed. Oh, grapeseed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. grapeseed, okay. yeah. The, the thing, if you're using olive oil, um, it doesn't like to be actually ha have too high heat as well. Yes. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing with olive oil. Yeah. So that's why we don't normally use it for sort of like deep frying. It spits yeah. all over the place, doesn't it, with yeah. olive oil? That's the only problem with it. But I, I still use it anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One of those things, isn't it? When I so, use... So this is basically mm. the first batch cooked. And we're going to have to let it cool down for at least a few minutes because it's going to be piping hot. Yeah. So that's basically it. Now I've served yeah. it with a bit of um, this bit of garlic, uh, minced garlic with sweet chilli sauce as well, and a bit of salad if you want to. And what sauce is that? Sorry, this Not is uh, chi chilli, chilli, uh, sweet chilli oil right. uh, sauce, and I've just put a bit of garlic and also a bit of um, sesame seeds as well, sesame oil as well. Mm. So you can see the colour of the. Spring roll now. It's really like brown. I, I don't know if you heard that there, <laughs> Katrina, but my stomach is literally rumbling. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's playing the drum in there. Yeah. <laughs> it was so loud, I'm sure our viewers at home probably heard it. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, you know, when you cook these, because it's uh, really hot, um, I'm, I'm going to cut it into half and yeah. then let, let it cool down slightly yeah. while I do the second batch. Oh, that looks mm. delicious. That's Otherwise, nice. you, you actually risk burning your, your tongue as well if you eat it too yeah. hot. Yeah. 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 So that's done. So you can see five nice spring very, rolls. Very, very yeah. professional. Looks very um, presentable, presentable, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Mashallah. Oh, yes, yes, Very yes. nicely presented. Yeah, um, looks tasty these, uh, and we'll probably get to, yeah. uh, not probably, 100% going to be able to yes. taste um, that after yeah. the show. But unfortunately, we have got to say goodbye to Katrina. <laughs> Bye, Katrina. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.